Hey guys, welcome back to the Farm Feast Kitchen. This week we're making braided sesame challah as well as whole wheat poppy seed challah. We're also putting together a double batch here and we'll make some slider buns so we can show you how to make the most out of making your bread each week. Of course, go check out the website for the printable version of this recipe and directions at localgrain.org down recipes. I'm gonna take you through all the pro tips and techniques that I learned while making this in my bakery for many years. So let's go do this. So we're starting with the first batch of sifted sesame challah we're making. With the whole wheat version, you'll want to add an extra ounce or two of water to accommodate for the extra absorption that'll happen there. I'm using butter here. I know that's not traditional, but I prefer the taste. You're welcome to use vegetable oil or olive oil. You'll note that this is a stiffer dough and that does two things. That helps the braids hold their shape and it also helps the dough have a even crumb structure. Because it's a stiff dough, you'll notice I'm having to knead it a little bit here just to get everything combined, just about two minutes. Then you're gonna let it rise for 45 minutes. and give it a fold here. That's gonna strengthen the dough and help it hold the shape of the braids and rise. Uh, we're gonna leave it for another 45 to 90 minutes to double in size. And once the dough is doubled in size, it is ready to shape. We're cutting it into approximately two ounce pieces here and then rounding them so they'll be ready to make into slider buns and hollow strands after they've rested for about 15 or 20 minutes. So we're gonna cover those up, let them rest. After the 15 minutes, we're shaping them into the slider buns and topping them with sesame. Once the bread is shaped, you're going to proof it until it's doubled in volume, usually about 45 to 60 minutes unless the dough is cool or your house is cool and could take two or three hours if the dough is in the low 70s or high 60s. So make sure your dough is warm. It'll proof much faster and better. And then you can go ahead and preheat your oven for 500 degrees for 20 minutes. When that is finished preheating, you'll want to turn your oven down to 350 degrees and load your bread. Once you've loaded your bread, you'll want to quickly throw in about a quarter cup of water into the bottom of the oven for steam if you haven't egg washed your loaves, which I did not here, so I use steam instead of egg wash. Bake them until they're 200 degrees in the center, turning as necessary to accommodate for hot spots in your oven. And then just cool them on a wire rack and enjoy. So thanks so much for joining us here this week on the Farm Feast Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go to localgrain.org for more recipes and tutorials on all things heritage grains, baking, cooking, and the like. Check out our grain shares and our farmer's pantry shares while you're there. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>